Good evening. How is everybody doing? Hi, Maria. Hi, Sarah. Good evening. Hi, it's raining over there, Sarah. Hi, Luis Enrique. Good evening. Good, good evening, sir. I'm okay. Excellent. Very good. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So how's everybody doing? Is uh, anything special for today? Anything special? Um, thank you for being working on the platform. Thank you for uh, all of you that have uh, done the platform. Uh, we're looking to, uh, today is our 12th class. So we have more formal classes to go and the, uh, the uh, um, this uh, module will be over. So you have to be finishing 80% um, of the platform in order for, we, for you to be able to go to the next level, okay? So necesitan terminar el 80% para INSAFOR para poder ir al próximo nivel. Los que ya terminaron, hey, hey, tranquilos, pero los que no han terminado, tienen que terminar a eso antes del, del final para poder darle yo un feedback, para poder darle ya yo una retroalimentación y tomar ese, ese, esa clase para retroalimentación, para darle eh, qué es lo que necesita trabajar y qué es lo que ha improved, qué es lo que ha mejorado y qué es lo que necesita eh, seguir trabajando en ello. ¿okay? Así es que si no lo han terminado, eh, um, por favor, eh, trabajenlo. Va a tener el fin de semana para terminarlo, si no, si no va a terminar. Eh, ¿Hay alguna palabra, alguna pregunta acerca de la, de la plataforma? ¿No? ¿Todos estamos bien? Ok. Uh, today you will learn to ask and answer questions with the path of B. Eso es lo que vamos a ver ahora. Answer questions with the path of B. Y para eso... Eh, si no hay preguntas de la plataforma, vamos a comenzar. We're going to jump in eh, con el, el path of B. Eh, dígame, eh, ¿alguno eh, sabe las formas o las variaciones del, del path of B? Path of B. ¿Cuáles son las, las, las formas o las variaciones del path of B? Si alguien la sabe. ¿Me puede decir cuáles son? Son dos, ¿verdad? Was and where. Was, yes, was and where, yes. Son was y where. Y um, el was lo usamos con el I, ¿verdad? I was, yes. Lo usamos con el you, usamos como you were, you were, you were. He, lo usamos he was, she. Usamos como she was, she was, a, we, we were, el you, el plural, plural, you were, y el they, usamos el they were. Entonces, estas son las variaciones que tienen el verbo to be en el, en el past, ¿sí? Esas son. ¿Y cómo hacemos a... Uh, eh, ¿Para qué usamos el tiempo past que hicimos, uh, Luis Enrique? Disculpe, teacher, repita, por favor. Sí, uh, ¿para qué usamos el tiempo past? Tiempo past. Tiempo past, sí, yes. ¿para qué lo usamos? Para actividades ocurridas en el pasado. Para, sí, para hablar de actividades que terminaron en el pasado, ¿sí? Se los terminamos ahí, ahí se quedaron. Por ejemplo, I was sick yesterday. I was sick yesterday. Eso quiere decir, ya no estoy, ¿verdad? Sick, no estoy enfermo, no more. Porque I was sick, eso se quedó en el pasado para indicar Acciones o actividades que hacemos en el pasado. I was sick yesterday. Para el you, ¿cómo podríamos armar una oración? 
Rubia, Frank, uh, you. You were? ¿Cómo podríamos decir eso? No, está apagado el micrófono. Ah, ok. Jugué <laughs> play. Yo jugué play. Uh, you were, you were. Yo no jugué. Ese, ese con el pasado, to be. ¿Tú estabas o tú fuiste? Jugaste. Ah, claro. No, el verbo to be es para Pero hacer... Ahí es... sería did. No, no, no. El past of the, estamos hablando del past of the verb to be. El past del verb to be es el was o el were. Was y were. Were, yes. Ajá. Were. Esto quiere decir. Were es. Fui. Ajá. O estuve. Fui o estuve. Eso quiere decir. Bien. Yeah. Por ejemplo, I was sick as. Yo estuve enfermo ayer. Oh, sí, sí, sí. ¿Sí? Ajá. Jugar es una acción, no es, ajá, no es estar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, ya entendí. Sí, ajá. You were. Entonces sería, you were, uh -huh. eh, sería feliz, happy. You were. Tú estuviste feliz. Ajá, ¿por qué? Happy. Esa es una acción que pasó allá y allá quedó, ¿verdad? You were happy. ¿Por qué? Porque estuvo. ¿Eh? Porque llovió. Uh, podría decir. But... It rained. Ok. Because it rained. Ok. Right. You uh -huh. were happy because it rained. Yeah. Estuviste uh, feliz porque llovió. Yeah. Eso fue en el pasado. Ya. Yeah. Ahora, eh, muy bien, excelente. Ahora vamos a ver con el, el was. María Verónica. He was. Vamos una oración. No, María Verónica no está. Ok. Eh, Cristela, Ivania. He was. Y luego Brian Ariel con she was. Y María Campos. Campos con we were. Mm, sería he was in no. vacation next week. No. Yes. No, next, no. no. Next, no. <laughs> next sí, uh, last no. week, ¿verdad? Last week, last week. <laughs> on vacation. Last, last week. week. Very good. She was, oh, he was. In on vacation last week. Very good. Week. Next. Excelente. Buen trabajo. Brian? She was? She was angry with her food. She was angry with her food. ¿Cómo está eso? ¿Qué pasa? She was angry with her food. ¿Qué, qué, qué es lo que quieres decir? Eh, ella estaba enojada con su comida. ¿Se enojaron con la comida? Sí. ¿Ah? ¿Cómo? Hey, voy a agarrar una pupusa. Estoy tocado contigo. Ah. Oh, ¿Cómo? No sé, estaba salado o algo así. Ah, pero eso no quiere decir que estaba salado. Pongamos la más. más. Uh, she was angry uh, because her food, her food was salty. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah, okay. She was angry because her food was salty. Ella estaba enojada 
porque su comida estaba salada. ¿Sí? Ahí estamos bien. Pero no, ella no se enoja con la comida. ¿eh? All right. María Campos. Y luego María Verónica. You were. We, we were playing ball in the park last weekend. We were. We were playing ball in the uh -huh. park last weekend. We were playing. We were playing baseball. We were playing ball. Ball, ball. Ball. Mm -hmm. At the park. Park last weekend. I see. We were playing ball at the park last weekend. Okay, very good. Estuvimos jugando pelota en el parque la semana pasada. Very good. Ok. Y Rebeca estar ahí va a ser they. They, ¿verdad? Sí, pero falta you were. María Verónica. Um, you were exercise. Se nos fue. Ok, Sara Elisa Belloso, I got you were. You were happy because it rained. You were um, happy you because it rained. Were you were happy because it rained. Late at the meeting. Okay, you were at you the were late. You were late at the meeting. ¿Cuántas personas fueron late? How many, how many people were late? Okay. Next, they were. They were tired. They were tired. Because work last week. They were tired because they worked a week. A week long. Okay. They were tired because they worked a week long. Yeah, they worked. They worked all week long. Yes. They were tired because they worked all the all week long. Very good. Okay, so it's it um when we talk about the past, yeah, statement with the past of the verb to be. Cuando hablamos acerca del pasado con el verbo to be, hacemos eso. Entonces, eh, ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de cómo formar las oraciones en pasado usando el verbo to be? ¿No? Ok. Entonces, el otro paso, el next paso, si alguien uh, no lo entendió, me avisa por favor, porque el next, next step es usando las WH questions. ¿Se acuerdan de las WH questions? ¿Cuáles son? What? what? Yes, what? Why? 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 How? How? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Where? How? Where? Yes. Who? Who? Yes. When. Why. When. Yes. When. Why. Yes. 
what, who, how, where, who, when. Ok, esas son las dos de... I'm sorry? Why, yes. No, why? no, no, no. No. <laughs> why, tenemos que decir why. Entonces, question, ahora vamos a hacer las question with the uh, verb to be in the past. Pero antes necesitamos the structure. ¿Cuál es la structure? La structure que vamos a usar es la WH word, que en este caso es la what, why, how, where, who, when, plus el was o el were que acabamos de aprender, what's the word, plus the subject. Plus the subject. And last, we have the complement. 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 That's lo que tenemos. So, the WH question, the structure of the WH question is WH word plus was the word plus subject plus the complement. Okay? So, si queremos hacer una pregunta, decimos were, were, were you born? Where were you born? Entonces, la WH question tenemos aquí, el was o el were, lo tenemos aquí, tenemos el subject, lo tenemos aquí, y tenemos el complement, que es esto. Entonces, esta oración cumple todos los requisitos que necesitamos para poder formar la WH question with the past, past of B. If, where were you born? Y eso quiere decir, ¿dónde naciste? ¿Dónde naciste? Si yo le pregunto a Rubia Franco, Rubia, where, where were you born? Y ella me dice. Y en Chalatenango, Chalatenango. Sí, pero dígame la oración completa. Um, yo nací en Chalatenango. Exacto. I am. Uh, I Um, I am. Where? Where? In Chalatenango. In Chalatenango. Sí, Luis de Jesús. Colocho. Sí, este, yo lo diría como I was born. Yes, uh -huh. Yes. I was born in Santana. I was born in Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Very good. Yes. I see it. I was born in Santa Ana. Yes. I was born in Santa Ana. Entonces, eh, como es past WH question, With the past the verb to be, así también me lo tiene que contestar, ¿verdad? Con el past of the verb to be, María Salazar. Si yo le digo, okay. where were, were you born? Usted me dice, I was born in Santa Ana. Yeah? I was born in Santa Ana. Porque eso es lo que le pregunto, where, where were you born? I was born in Santa Ana. Cristela Ivania, where were you born? I was born in Santa Ana. Okay, I was born in Santa Ana. ¿Dónde Santa Ana ustedes dos? Very good, excelente. I was born in Santa Ana. Um, where, ahora si yo le pregunto a Silvia, were you, were you born in San, were you born in San Salvador. Yo le pregunto a Silvia Raquel. Silvia, were you born in San Salvador? 
Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I am um, was born in San Salvador. Okay. Entonces hay dos formas de contestar. Very good. Excelente. Hay dos formas de contestar. Usted dice yes. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes. O puede decir no. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was uh, born in uh, Soyapango. Yeah? Soyapango. Yeah? Entonces, uh, yeah. were you born in San Salvador? Yes, I was. Or oh, no, I wasn't. I was born in Soyapango. Yeah? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Entonces, eh, vamos a ver. Luis Enrique. Were you born in Santa Ana? Yes. No, I wasn't. No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. no, I wasn't. ¿Qué sigue de ahí? I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. Very good. Maria Campos. Were you born in uh, uh, La Unión? No, I wasn't. I was born in Lourdes, Colón. Very good. Sara, Libertad. Very good. Sara Elisa, were you born in La Libertad? No, I wasn't. I was born in Zacatecoluca. Very good. Luis de Jesus, were you born in uh, Cabañas? No, I wasn't. I was born in Santa Ana. Very good. Excellent. Muy bien. Buena, buena, buenas contestaciones. Okay. Helen Esther, were you born in Santa Ana? No, I wasn't. I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Very good. Miguel Garcia, was, do you have a brother? Do you have um, a brother? Yeah, yeah, uh, one brother and one sister. Okay. Was your brother born in 1987? Repeat question, please. Was your brother born in 1997? Uh, eh, eh, no, no, I was born. I was. No. was your brother born in nineteen ninety seven? I was no, I I was brother in born in uh, nineteen. Uh, 97. Okay. Was, <laughs> was your brother born in 1997? That's the question. Esta es la pregunta. Was your brother uh, born in 1997? Sí, el que levantó la mano. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Este, si no me equivoco, sería yes, he was born in 1987. Yes, he was. Yes. 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 He was. Yes. He was. Es todo. Pero, ¿y si no? Mm, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. ¿Y cuál sería lo que sigue? Were. Uh-huh. No, he wasn't born in no, he 1996. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He mm -hmm. was born in mm -hmm. 1996. Yeah. Esa es. Yes. 
Very good. Excellent. Okay, Luis de Jesus Colocho. Were your parents born in Osulután? No, they weren't. Very good. No. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay. Mm -hmm. They were. They were uh -huh. born. They were born in Cabana. Cabana, very good. Yes, Cabana. Very good. Were your parents born in Usultan? No, they weren't. They were born in Cabañas. Very good. Excellent. Buen trabajo. Buen trabajo, Luis. Okay, let's see. Rodrigo, are you there? Vidal? No? Daniela, Stephanie, are you there? No? Helen Gladys? No? Okay. Hola, hello. Yes. Uh, uh, were your parents born in San Salvador? No. No? They weren't. Okay. They were born in San Miguel. Okay. And when was you father born? When? When you, uh, my father born is uh, Atikisaya. When was your father born? When, 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 when yes. is, uh, perdón. No, no es perdón. No, 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 que es, when, perdón. <laughs> La palabra se me olvidó. Yeah. When, cuando. Ah, cuando. Ah, okay. Uh, my father. Yes. He, when. He, in uh, 26, December 26. Yes, okay. Uh, when was your father born? There is no. no. Yes, when was your. My father, father my father. Yes. Sorry, my yes. father. My father. Okay, my, my father, father uh -huh. born. No. Is. No. Es el pasado. Mm. Sí, aquí no estoy my por... father was born. Yes, yes my father my was, father was born. Uh -huh. Born, yes. Was born uh, December in 26. In in uh -huh, December in 2026 uh -huh. in 1956 uh, the year is not remembered sorry okay, 1956 okay my father was born in 1956 okay yes 1956 uh, porque estamos contando cuando nació él no su birthday uh -huh. cuando es birthday usted me da uh, okay. fecha ajá uh -huh. Ah, o sea, la fecha no es completa. No, es del año. Oh, was this, el right? año, ok. Yes, my father was born in 1956. Yes. Uh, okay. ok, very good. Uh, thank you. And um, let's see who else wants to participate. Now let's see. Ok. Who wants who else wants to participate? Okay, Sonia Gamboa. Hello, Sonia. How are you? Hello. What city? What city were you born? Excuse me. What city? 
were you born? What city were you born? Carlos Ernesto, ayúdame. Hello. Luis de Jesús Colocho, por favor. I was born in Santa Ana. Yes, I was born in Santa Ana. Very good. I was born in Santa Ana. Very good. Excellent. Buen trabajo. What city were you born? I was born in Santa Ana. And uh, what city, uh, Colocho, what city was uh, your parents, uh, were your parents born? Um, they were, were. What city were your parents born in? Yeah. What city were your parents born in? They, you say they were born in mm, Sansonate. Sansonate, very good. Son, so. Very good, excellent, very good. Okay, so this is the WH question with verb to be in the past. Eso es lo que eh, necesitamos saber, necesitamos saber esa estructura. Yeah, el pasado, el subject, el past, el verb and past, y el complement. Ok, ¿alguna pregunta de lo que estamos haciendo hasta ahorita? What's the statement with the past of B? Y lo aprendimos. Aprendimos question with the past of B. Y hicimos unas, uh, y hicimos unas prácticas. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a trabajar el libro. Vamos a trabajar la platform. ¿Qué nos uh, podemos hacer en la platform? Hay que alguna, algunas uh, ejercicios que podamos hacer en la platform. Ya que tenemos el conocimiento de eso, vamos a hacer el knowledge check del five point. Uh, was the word. Ok. Vamos a ver. Um, Aquí lo que vamos a hacer, what we're going to be uh, doing, is we're going to complete the conversation. My family and I, vamos a poner was or were all born in South Korea. ¿Quién me puede ayudar en esta? Where? Okay, my family and I were. ¿Por qué no usa was? ¿Por qué no uso el was? ¿Alguien? Porque ¿Por estamos hablando más... de otras cosas. Ah, perdón, perdón. No, that's okay, that's okay. no, no hay problema. ¿Por qué me dijo, señorita? Hablaba de un plural. Sí, porque uh, my family, el compañero. family and I, ¿verdad? Family and I son más de dos, más de uno. Entonces, sí, por eso es que dice were. Muy bien. Y la next one, uh, Silvia Rodríguez. We. Mm. We weren't. Weren't, yes, weren't. Es el negativo que acabamos de ver. ¿Cómo se usa? Weren't born in the USA. Helen Esther Alfaro. Próxima. I was Sería, I was born. In the city of Incheon. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Sí, no hay problema. Incheon. <laughs> ¿Cómo? Incheon. Incheon. Mm -hmm. And my brother was born there too. Very good. Excelente. Okay, Cristela Ivania. My parents. My parents weren't born in Incheon. Okay, weren't. Okay, weren't. 
My parents weren't born in Chile. Very good. In the Proximo, Rubio Franco. Hola. Sí. Uh, hola, hola, hola. Sí, 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 aquí estoy. Ok. La antepenúltima es Güere. ¿Cómo dice? Güere. Güere. No, es was o were. ¿Cuál de las dos es? Were. 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 Es ellos. Ajá. Ok. Were. Sí. And they were born in the capital of Seoul. Very good. Natalie Michelle. Hola. Hola. Eh, hay que varía. Okay. Was. Good evening. Yes. In South Korea. My father, my father was. Was. Very good. Excellent. Yes. My father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Very good. Was porque está hablando de he. Excelente. Muy buen trabajo. Buen trabajo. Ya. Yeah. Todas están correctamente. ¿Alguien que no haya entendido esto? ¿Estamos bien? Ok. Entonces vamos a ir al knowledge check uh, number 55. Uh, yeah. Y esto es lo que les estuve preguntando yo. Eh, the like best answer to the question. Where were you born? Vamos a empezar con Natalie. Natalie, select an option. Where were you born? Um, I was, no, in Hiroshima, Japan. Yes, in Hiroshima, in Hiroshima, Japan. Very good, Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, good job. Eh, ahora, Cecia Raquel, where did you grow up? Las opciones es Cecia Raquel. Okay, Miguel Garcia, ayúdame. Where did you grow up? Y después Sara, eh, Elisa, eh, y después María I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Uh, I grew or I grew up? I grew. I grew up. Uh, I, grew in, I grew up. In Tokyo. In Tokyo, yes. It's pasado de grow. Grow up is cre cresco. It grew up. Uh -huh. is okay. Okay. Grew up. okay. 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 Next. Next. How was your first day? Okay. Okay. Sara Elisa Bellos y María Verónica me va a ayudar en la cuarta. Sara. How was your first day of school? Okay. How was your first day of school? No? Necesita ayuda. Puedo ayudar yo, teacher. Sí, 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 dígame. I can. I was a little separate. It was a little scary. Yes, it was a little scary. It was a little scary. Very good. Uh, who was your first friend in school, uh, Maria Veronica? It was a little scary. Yes. Okay, numero cuatro. Who was your first friend in school, Maria Veronica? Hello? Hello, Maria Veronica. Who was your first friend in school? Who you hear me, teacher? No, I couldn't. Silvia Raquel Rodríguez, sí, por favor. Her, her name was Yumiko. Yes, her 
Her name was Yumiko. Thank you very much. Okay, and Helen Ther Lopez, what was he, what was he or she like? She was really friendly. She was really friendly. She was really friendly. And Cristela Ivania, number six, why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English. Improve my English. Yes, I wanted to. I wanted to improve, improve my English. Very good. And you had improved your English. You said I a memorable English. Very good. Okay, we're going to submit this one. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, we got them all right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And now we're going to finish with uh, uh, 110. Let's see if we have the knowledge to do this one. Okay. Uh, Sonia Gamboa. These are scrambles. Scramble means that they are, están revueltas. Lo que vamos a hacer nosotros la vamos a, a desenvolver, la vamos a poner correctamente. Okay. Entonces, dice, grow up, you did where? ¿Cómo, va esta, ¿Cómo la voy a poner correctamente? Where did you grab? Where? Did you? Where did you grow up? Grow up. Grow up. Very good. Yes. Grow up. Where, Where did you, did you grow, grow up? up? Very good, good job. Uh, Natalie Michelle, number two. And Miguel Garcia, number three. Was for, no, no. No, no, no. No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Es que... Mm, I don't understand. Okay, no. Alguien que le ayude? How shows. El número, teacher. Number two? No, go. Eh, yo, two. teacher. Okay. Number two. How old were you? Okay, Miguel, go ahead. It's continuing the... Number two. The girl. Oh, es ordenar. Ordenarlo, sí. Uh -huh. Okay. How were you? How were you? How were you in the... In the 2 to 1000, no, yeah, in the 2 to 1000 years old. Okay, how? How mm -hmm. you were? How you were? How were you? Okay, you were? You were, okay. Um, old. Old. Aquí está. In the 2000 year. Thousand is thousand, right? Oh, okay. Pero thousand es dos mil. Okay. Okay. El signo. Question mark. Okay. Yeah, question mark. Okay, Helen, sir, está bien así? How you were old in the 2000 year? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Creo que va antes yes. el were. Okay. How, okay, you, were, how were you where, all? Where are you? Uh -huh. How were you all? O oh, también tiene que ir respuesta. No. Pero es que... How were you all? Read the Jesus Colochi. In the... 
2000. Sería. Yes. Uh, how old? How old? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Were you? Were you? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Were you? In the year. Uh huh. Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. 2000. In the year 2000. Okay, very good. How old were you? Yes. 2000. Your question mark, right? Okay, yes. Esa es la, esa es la forma. How old? El W, acuérdense de structure. Era WH question. Yes. El, el past, el subject, y el complement. How old were you in the year 2000? Very good. Excelente. Cristela y Vania, ¿me puede ayudar con el número tres, por favor? Number three. Hi. Sería, when did you begin to study English? Very good. Excelente. When, when did you, you begin, begin to study English? To study English. Yes. English. English. Question mark. Very good. Excellent. Where did you begin? Okay, Miguel Garcia, number four. Te la cambié, Andy Miguel, porque ya, ya te di mucho tiempo. Ok, ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Uh, when were? When? Born. When were? You born. born. Yes, very good. Question. When were you born? Yes. That's it. The question mark. Okay. Alguien que, que no haya entendido esto, por favor, dígame, porque si no, no, no puedo yo ayudarle si no me dice que no lo entendió. Okay. Esto, lo que tenemos que hacer aquí es ver la WH word. Al principio escribimos la WH word, ¿verdad? Escribimos que era who, where, when, how, and why. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando usted ve esa palabra aquí, por ejemplo, aquí, aquí se dice, ¿cuál es la WH question? Oh, es la where. Entonces, usted dice, where va primero. Where, y luego viene did you, como es una pregunta, where did, viene el auxiliary verb, where did you, viene el, el subject, y el verbo, grow up. Este, en este caso, en, en este caso, eh, ¿cuál es la WH question aquí? Es el how. Usted la ve y dice, oh, how va primero. How old were you? Yes. Es como cuando usted pregunta, how old are you? En este caso, usted dice, how old were you? Y viene la otra, la otra pregunta, la número tres. Si usted busca aquí, ok, super, no sé dónde comenzar. Ah, pero el teacher dijo que empezaban con la WH question. Y usted dice, when. When did you? Ahí se, eh, tiene toda la oración. When did you begin, es el verbo, to study English? Yes. Entonces viene el complemento. Y en la última, que estaba más, más fácil, eh, preguntamos, where, when, when were you born? Que era lo que estuvimos haciendo al principio. ¿no? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguien que no haya entendido bien esto? ¿No? Ok, vamos a submit y vamos a ver que si nos hemos equivocado en alguna palabra. Ok, en esta, ¿qué es lo que tenemos mal aquí? Nos, when did you begin también to study, to study English? English. Okay. ¿Por qué es que nos está dando mal a esta? When... Did you study 
in when did you begin to study English? When did you begin to study English? Creo que hay dos espacios en creo. Entre hay dos espacios, creo. Sí, había dos espacios. Sería más, más amplio, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, eso era lo que estaba molestando. El extra space. Okay. Ese es el, la, el knowledge check, el 5.10. Si me preguntas, seguimos con el, el knowledge check del 515. 5.15 casi es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos go back and read the article Ricky Martin and select the best answer for each question. Esta tenemos que, que leer el article acerca de Rick Martin para poder saber nosotros el, el, la fecha cuándo es que él nació. Entonces vamos a a ver si sí, está Rick Martin. Morning. Ok. Eh, Helen, Esther, ¿me puede leer el primer párrafo, por favor? Dice Rick Martin was born. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on December. 24, mm, 1971. Very good. He was always a performer as a chill. He, mm, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra, Ticho. Okay. He, he was, he appeared. Appeared in television, commercial, and student singing. Ok, entonces le vamos a ayudar en, en dos palabras. Eh, donde dice child as a child. Este es child. Yeah. As a child. A child. Y la otra es studied. 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 Studied, studied. studied singing. Very good. Studying. Very good. Excelente. Muy bueno. Sara Elisa, belloso. Por favor, el segundo párrafo. At the age of... Ok. At, at the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band, Menudo. He worked hard with them. And he became very well group by five years. Okay, he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Very good. Good job. Good job. Maria Campus. Next. Martin moved. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded the Spanish language album after the success. He moved back to U.S. Ok. Ok. Entonces, solo tenemos a, eh, eh, que trabajar en las terminaciones de los pasados. Por ejemplo, frustru frustrated. Frustrated. Sería esta. Frustrated. 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 Esa sería una. Y la otra es moved. Moved. Moved back to the USA. Good job. Good job. Excelente. Sonia Camboa. Back in the US. Back in the US. He April on an American top. Opera and in the Broadway show. 
Les Miserable TC. Y ahí ya no leo. Sí, sí, más de... No se lee. Más de his prior English language, language album. Okay. Ahora lo miro. Eh, yes. No, no se ve el final. No. No, no se logra leer. Just a second, please. One second. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, ahí lo pueden ver. La última parte es la que no se logra leer. Oh, ok. Esta parte de aquí, that album. Ah, was... Eso sí. Ok. Vale. That, that album was all, Ricky oh. Martin. Uh -huh. His, his big, big hits, Living La Vida Loca, okay. was on that album. Ok, very good. Um, solo son palabras como... Uh, appeared, appeared es una y la otra es called, called, that album was called Ricky Martin and biggest, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca was on that album. Entonces son esas tres palabras, uh, appeared, uh, biggest y called. Esas palabras necesitamos trabajar. ¿Ok? Eh, Silvia, Raquel, ayúdenme en este último, ya para irnos. Now he's, now he's famous around the, the world, but he is the world hard. And he still love singing as he said to a report for the new paper. You say today, I want to do this famous. Whatever. I want to do this forever. Yes, no, casi no se nota ahí. Dice, I want to do this forever. Y le voy a ayudar en esta palabra. Famous, famous. Now he's famous. Y la otra, singing. Singing. Aquí. Famous. Still loves singing. Y también USA. USA today. ¿Ok? Esas son las únicas palabras que no estaban... Yeah. Very thank good. You. you do. Thank you. Thank you for los que leyeron. Gracias. Uh, es una buena práctica que tienen y uh, veo que eh, están muy adelantados en la lectura. Eh, sigamos así. Thank you for being a, such a good uh, student. Eh, 
Eh, gracias por estar trabajando también en la plataforma y por ser puntuales. Les agradezco mucho. Eh, si hay alguna pregunta, por favor, háganmela en el WhatsApp. Yo se la voy a contestar con mucho, mucho uh, gusto. Eh, me quedo noche porque tengo que subir el video, así que pueden mandar sus uh, comentarios o sus preguntas por WhatsApp. Ok. Si no hay ninguna pregunta, uh, I see you tomorrow at uh, eight o'clock again. And have all of you have a good night. And thank you for your participation. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.